making the the film the assault on el capitan it's kind of just exploded a little bit as far as where it's gone uh it's always been a really really big idea of mine to get to the bottom of the wings of steel debacle you know i've always i've always heard from various people that you know that routes this and that routes that uh and I've just got to a point where I'm like, well, I just need to climb it and make up my own decision. And yeah, I approached my buddy Jeff Vargin and was like, hey, afterwards, I'm like, dude, this is going to make a pretty interesting film. I know you're in the film industry. And what do you think about this? This is like a really kind of a crazy story. Um, and Jeff just picked that up and ran with it. And uh yeah, it's just amazing how how it's exploded. Just I didn't see that coming. I didn't know it was going to be as big as it is. Uh yeah, it's a little weird being the center of attention and the subject of the film, but it's you know, it's really just kind of a story of what happened and I think that's kind of the coolest aspect of the film in my opinion is of uh, it just answers a lot of questions of what what did happen back then and why people felt the way they did and um it answers a lot of questions but then it brings up a lot of questions at the same time going and doing the question and answer uh, with jeff it, it's one of the premieres and just kind of getting up on stage and a answering questions trying to let people know um, you know what I found up there and uh, that's that was kind of the key for me like to unlock the the secret of what r they really did up there because you know people believe in one hand this and one hand that but nobody really knew until I went up there and saw exactly what it was and but it's just kind of been this amazing journey of a lot of different things of you know figuring out what they did and actually learning some of the stuff uh in the past what they went through uh so yeah we're all still kind of learning mm -hmm.